Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm Dominique. For those of you that are new here, I am a fourth semester medical laboratory student. And I have just arrived to the hospital for another day at clinicals. Which, at the moment, I am halfway through my chemistry rotation. And I know, I know, I have not vlogged in a minute. <laughs> but I have a pretty long commute to this hospital, so it makes it hard for me to really do anything. As of today, I don't know if you hear the rain, this is gonna be a long day because we have to do monthly maintenance, we have to do bi-weekly maintenance and weekly maintenance. But anyway, yeah, I need to go ahead and head in, so I'll talk to y'all later. How my preceptor set up my chemistry rotation is that I am responsible for one of their three Roche Cobas 8,000 instruments. The one I have is specifically for testing urine samples to determine drugs of abuse levels. So I do all the quality control and stuff, the daily and weekly maintenance, and I just perform monthly maintenance. Like I said, I had a little small clipping of that. So anyway, my analyzer does a lot of drugs of abuse, so things like amphetamines, benzodiazepines, opioids, stuff that has a possibility of life-threatening adverse reactions. So doctors monitor these patients more closely where they can use the data from the lab to determine if the treatment is working or if they need to stop the treatment or if they need to try a new protocol or if the patient is even taking the drugs in the first place. So, yeah. So I finished up clinicals for the day. Um, I did have a cooking me pouring up calibrations and QC materials and a little tiny snippet of me doing like monthly maintenance but honestly as soon as we get like the morning stuff out the way so maintenance cleaning and QC and all that like the day just gets chaotic from there every single day we're about to get ready to go home but I'm just I just wanted to say that I'm really glad that I had the chance to come to this reference lab like I was honestly dreading chemistry rotation I kept being told by others that it was going to be very boring and there wasn't going to be much to do. Um, of course that's in the acute care setting but with this being a reference lab like they stay busy legit all day long and I've really enjoyed this rotation especially since they get a lot of rare cases. So all the techs I've talked to so far they said that the workload here is way harder but it's more relaxed since the turnaround time is 24 hours. Of course, besides stats, you have time to get your work done. You're not as rushed or pressured as you would be in a hospital. Uh, whereas here, they are so much more hands-on for lab stuff, like LAS and certain tasks that in a the hospital, there wouldn't really be enough time to do certain stuff, if that makes sense. The preceptor that I have, I'm his first student, so <laughs> um, I think he's a little more enthusiastic than what most preceptors would be like. But his attitude is that quote, since I don't know where you're going to work at, I'm going to train you up to the best of my ability so that you can be prepared to go work wherever. And like he already had a, an, a, an idea of the health system that I was going to with, without me even saying anything. But um, my last site, their attitude was that since they don't know where I'm going, they're not gonna train me up on things because they don't know where I'm going, if that makes sense. So like, it's like they just didn't want to invest the time, whereas here, the techs here, they like really like to teach, and I think I really do like that aspect of being here. They're showing me things that, you know, they don't have to take the time to show it to me, because it just slows them down, I guess, if they do, but, you know, they're taking that time to do that. They're taking the extra step to make sure that I understand what's going on, and I can, like, s stuff like troubleshooting, that stuff you would learn as it comes. <laughs> Um, it's not necessarily a part of the curriculum that I have to learn troubleshooting things, but I've seen so much stuff here so far and it's only been, I'm only halfway through the rotation, but now certain troubleshooting issues come up, I can resolve it myself. Before it was, I understand there's a problem, but I don't know what to do. But I'm getting to the point where I've seen so much troubleshooting issues that I see there's a problem, now I'm going to take the steps to correct it type thing. And it's very vague, it's hard to explain, if I just tell you the, the troubleshooting stuff that I'm dealing with, you're not gonna understand what I'm talking about unless you've worked on this specific analyzer before. So I'm not gonna go in depth on that, but I'm just talking off the top of my head.
to me, but I'm on the way to clinicals. I have a really long drive, so let's get ready to leave. We love the class and we definitely think y'all should join. Yes, y'all definitely. Okay, so I just made it home and I've completed another week of clinical rotations for the chemistry department. What I usually do is go to clinicals throughout the week and then I push all of my assignments and papers and case studies and stuff. I push it all to the weekend. And what I ended up doing in the past two weeks is I just pushed it for the next week so this weekend I'll be having to spend time making up and actually completing things <laughs> so basically I have one assignment that I have to do on any variables or sources of errors in clinical chemistry and then I have another assignment that I have to do on automation so it's like an automation report so I'm gonna try to complete that this weekend I could have been did it I'm just kind of been lazy really um, what else do I have to do I have to do some case studies, which I did the bulk of them. I just have a lot more to do. <laughs> so that might get pushed off till next week. And then I also have to make my own case study from scratch, which that might get pushed till next week. We have to include patient information like their history, what background do they come from, stuff like that, that might be relevant to the diagnosis. Then we also have to include their clinical manifestation. So like, why are they here? How are they presenting? How are they feeling? Do they have any complaints? Things like that. And then we have to include any relevant lab results and lab tests. We have to make up like questions and stuff for it. So it's like an entire case study that we have to make up. Might save that till next week too. I also need to start doing my exam simulations on lab CE, which I, I did like too many ones, but I have yet to actually sit down and do a full exam simulation. So I need to start doing those because <laughs> these months are going to fly by. I did make a chemistry study plan, which included a, me studying all the topics in clinical chemistry, which included like enzymes, um, liver function tests, kidney function, uh, hormones, um, electrolytes, drugs of abuse, all these different things that I had in mind. But um, yeah, I'm already slacking on that. So I'm gonna try to, to do that before my final that I have, and that's coming up in two weeks. So I'm trying to get, get on it. Anyway, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Thank you guys for watching this vlog, and please like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with my journey in medical laboratory school. And I'll see you guys in the next one.